Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we'll talk about text mining, and uh, it's a series of lessons about text mining. Uh, today we'll talk about text and corpus, but we will also talk about clustering, classification, importing documents. We'll talk about sentiment analysis. We'll talk about um, a Twitter uh, and um, uh, text enrichment, many other topics. We will cover it in the coming uh, few lessons. But today we will give you an overview about what is text and what is corpus. Simply, uh, we need to go uh, into Orange Data Mining and you need to make sure that text mining is installed in your Orange Data Mining. You install it through Options, Adds On, and Text. This is the, the one that you need to make sure that it's uh, installed. Okay. So the most important thing is actually Corbus. Corbus is a collection of documents. It's a collection of documents. So if I double click uh, this one, uh, and if you browse your default directory, you will go into some uh, sample uh, uh, documents or, or Corbus from Orange Data Mining, and I will gonna select the Grim Tail selected. Grim Tail selected. Okay, you need to make sure that the uh, title variable is title and here the content is what we are looking uh, for to do text mining. You can grab this here and you can put it back here. Uh, this is how you set up your corpus. So it's a title for title variable and use text features for the content. So we're going to deal with the content of, the, uh, of this um, corpus. So uh, the uh, selected document is Grim Tail selected. Okay, let us explore this uh, this uh, Corbus. We go to uh, Corbus Corbus Viewer, and from Corbus Viewer uh, there are very important things. Uh, you will notice that we have forty four documents. This is the forty four documents. In each document, you have different uh, titles. You have the title. Uh, abstract content also you can put the uh, ATU topic okay and you can actually select them all you can select all these uh, topics to, to, to display everything about these uh, documents so the first one is ATU is a tale of magic this is the type of the uh, tale so it's tales of magic this is the type of the story this is the title this is the abstract for the uh, story and this is the content and this is the content okay so per story per each one you will see the same thing here we have uh, animal tale so we have two categories animal tale and tale of magics these are the two categories in the 44 documents so we have 44 documents they're divided into a tale of magic or uh, animal animal tales so um, you can actually search this uh, of course this this one this this document it's actually inside one single document i will show it to you this is the document okay and uh, see this is the title uh, you, you have the atu topic title abstract uh, content uh, atu type and you have all these types okay and you have then the stories in the same document here these are all documents, the 44 documents, and this is the last uh, document, I think. This is this is the one, okay? So this is the document. Uh, second thing, within these 44 documents, okay, of course, we will talk about how to import documents in the coming lessons, but today we will focus on the Grim Tail Selected. Uh, you can actually search uh, some, uh, some, some stories or all these stories about, for example, some words like, for example, king, king, okay, king, uh, and I will search for the content, okay, I will search in the content, in the content, so you can see, for example, these are the words, king, okay, you can search whatever you want, but this is the corpus viewer will uh, show you all these stories as you can see with all details. Okay, I will remove King and I will uh, bring the 44 documents here. Okay, and as you can see, these are the uh, titles, abstract content, and these are the stories. Okay, so this is the viewer of the, this corpus. Okay, this is the first thing. Second thing, uh, you can actually directly from here go into Word word cloud word cloud to see what are the most 
uh, frequent words in this corpus as you can see here okay so for example we have the a that to you etc said but uh, I did not pre-process text yet I did not process the text yet. so this one maybe is useless because it bring the uh, the stop words which is the a to and so I need to get rid from this how to get rid from these stop words I can connect to something called pre-process text the most critical one in text mining as you can see you have different options uh, you can go for transformation make the whole thing with lowercase remove the accents uh, there are other things for html and urls you can do tokenization and you can do rich expression the rich expression it's actually uh, another subject where you can do so many things to process your text so if you want to dig down into this you need to go and to understand what is rich expression means uh, and all the commands under rich uh, expression because it has tens maybe hundreds of, of things that you need to be aware of but if you don't need to manipulate the text uh, uh, in a very detailed way no need to use it but we will keep it like this but the most important thing also is to the stop words we can filter for the stop words we're going to use english english and also i can add uh, another file for the stop words for example uh, i can add this stop words which i created uh, this is the file uh, I put all the stop words in English okay I downloaded and I will keep it in the github for you to download okay so all these words uh, are meaningless and we I don't I, I want to get rid from these words so I gonna put it here okay and also you can put different things also you can put, apply in the filtering the rich expression the way that you want to remove the spaces to remove some uh, you know um, uh, punctuations uh, whatever you want to do you can do it uh, in this in this pretext format i will click apply okay it takes uh, done and i can now do word word cloud and uh, as you can see now it's clean uh, the the word the and uh, it has been eliminated the most maybe frequent words are little little it, it gonna uh, be in the uh, uh, bigger font size and the more uh, the word uh, uh, repeated the uh, higher uh, size of the front will uh, which will it it, it will have uh, so the word the king see the, the word little and the king are the most frequent words you can uh, uh, sort out by clicking the weight so the little this is the little and the king also you can see all these words and you can click on all these words to uh, for example explore you can select these words okay and if you want you can explore or you can export into data table okay and from data table you can see all these words or you can go into select words selected words or count words like this okay and see the word and the word counts you can export it and also you can save it as uh, excel file for example can save it as excel file so what we have learned uh, uh, today is you can do many things first you can uh, first use a corpus to bring uh, a document that has sub documents uh, you can do the corpus viewer to browse all these for example tales okay uh, and uh, you can uh, uh, process pre-process text which is the most critical one when dealing with text so there are different options you can explore and there are so many details you can actually do here one of the most critical thing is the regex uh, regex is very famous uh, model uh, that you can use to uh, eliminate the text and do filtering do changes do transformation you can do it and you can uh, re review it from the net and we now you can use the word cloud in a clear way as as we've seen and uh, you can export it to data table this is the lesson for today and uh, in the coming lessons we'll talk more about text and classification clustering and all the related things under uh, the area of text mining i hope that you enjoyed uh, this lesson it's uh, light and as you can see it's um, straightforward in origin data mining 
you can use the text mining easily and uh, directly with the uh, provided widgets in text mining so we'll see you in uh, our next uh, lesson till then enjoy orange data mining